This is Rob Kerr with Blue Granite, and today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of an application I've been working on to load test my analysis services cubes. And we're going to publish this on uh, CodeFlex for free. So after you watch the video, if you like it, I encourage you to go ahead and download it and try it yourself. So let's get started. I'm just going to launch this application. So um, we're calling it uh, AS Performance Workbench. And uh, what this is really all about is load testing cubes, um, throwing a lot of queries at it, simulating uh, multiple user loads, and then being able to watch kind of in real time um, what's going on in that cube, and uh, and then at the end generating really nice documentation. Because who likes to do documentation? Well, this tool will do it for you. Okay, so I'm going to start a load test, and the first thing that I'm going to do here is uh, tell it which server I'm going to connect to. So I'll put in um, SQL2 is a this is a server in my lab here that I can use and I hit tab and that'll give me a list of databases to choose from so I'll choose this one it's uh, has some retail point of sale data in it um, I have a couple other options here one is counter set um, right now that just just has one counter set I'm hoping to expand the functions um, later so it's kind of a placeholder and the other thing I need to, to just make sure I've selected the right server name because the performance counters are different uh, for different servers. So I've got that selected. The second thing I'm going to do is uh, tell it which queries I'm going to use. And um, what I what you need to do here is just take um, uh, write some MDX queries or capture them with Profiler and um, uh, put them in a folder. So you know in in that folder that that I just pointed to, I have a number of queries, and you know these are just MDX queries. So these these are fairly simple, but um, you know, ideally you'd have you know maybe 20 different queries that you can use that um, that provide different levels of load for your database. So uh, what this tool is going to do is read all the queries in the in that folder, however many there are, and throw them against the server. Um, now I, um, this is multi-threaded, so I can choose how many threads I want for this quick test. While I'm showing you, I'm just going to say five threads. And um, and that's going to kind of simulate five concurrent queries against the server, and I don't want to take too long, so I'll just give it you know, one to three seconds of, of think time. So that's the time between when a query is sent to the next query sent. It's going to pick a random number of seconds between one and three to simulate a user thinking. These users aren't going to think for that long, but um, and then I, I I can pick what test profile I want. So all queries on each thread, file name order means it's just going to pick query one, two, three and send them in order on every thread. So it's not very realistic. So I actually like the random order better. So it's going to just pick a random query in a random order. It simulates a little bit more of a real user load. And the third option is each query in its own thread. So if I had wanted to send all those three queries at the same time and see what happens, I could do that. But I'm going to choose the random order, so uh, what I usually use. And then this counter stop just, just says the counters are going to stop after the end of the test. Um, don't worry too much about that. OK, so I'm pretty set up for this test. So what I'm going to do is click the start counters button and uh, what that will do is it's um, it's actually going out and getting the performance counters that are, are pretty relevant to this kind of testing and it's displaying the current value average max min and those will keep updating throughout the test um, this enable just means that you know, I want that on the chart or not so if I didn't want processor time on the chart I could unclick it or click it to bring it back okay the first thing I'm gonna do is actually clear the cache and um, you know, normally uh, you want to do that, so you're starting with a nice cold analysis services instance, and that'll take a, a few seconds to run. And, and this is using an AS um, analysis service store procedure project um, installed on the server. So if you're familiar with that, uh, you can get that at CodePlex and installed on your server. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start the test. So as soon as I hit start test, it's going to start up my five threads and start throwing queries at the server and I can already see my uh, CPUs starting to go up and down and, and move around a little bit and these other counters are moving around as well so so I can see in real time really what's happening here as the server is, is processing what really is just 15 queries in this case but uh, um, but I've used this to you know process thousands of queries against against a server on 50 or 100 threads and it, it, it works pretty well so so everything's done that took 16 seconds this is just a quick demo and, uh, and I can see what my profile is like if I want to um, uh, put on uh, some adif additional counters and kind of look at where my memory limits have gone during the test I can do that so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this layout and then the last thing I'm going to do is create some documentation so this is going to be my uh, SQL2, I'll give it a name, oops, better name and then when I hit save report it'll write an HTML report out to this folder for me and I can use that 
to help interpret this to share it with my customer and what this has done is taken what that graph looked like when I was finished uh, reviewing it so whatever counters I wanted I clicked on there that's what I get I get the summary of the performance counters I get query summary statistics so these are my three queries and I can see how many times they ran the average duration the longest the least how many times it aired out and then down here I can see every single execution so so this is a uh, very good documentation and uh, if I wanted to change some aspect of the test I could come here and do that and run it again and get another report so I can kind of you know see how I'm doing as I'm making changes on the server um, so that's about all I wanted to cover just to give you a quick glimpse um, if you are interested in this uh, you can find this on CodePlex at ASPERFWB like Analysis Services Performance Workbench .com and uh, just go to downloads you can download the setup program install it on your machine and uh, give it a try um, you will need uh, .NET Framework and uh, Analysis Services um, 2008 uh, binaries on your machine installed but uh, if you're doing this kind of work you probably have that already so if you have any questions uh, you can uh, get to me at my blog blog.robkerr.com and uh, thanks for watching